Good morning. morning. All right. We're going to work a little differently today. We're going to concentrate on movement and slowness of movement and utilizing the chi, trying to get the chi up and flowing down to our fingers, down into our feet, and up into our head. Okay? That's our, that's our focus today. So I'm giving you an intention for the rest of the movement for the class today. I'm going to be working both from the chair and standing, and so you have an option as to what you want to do and the way you want to do it. Um, one of the things I will say that if you're working at home and you have a balance issue of any kind, <clears throat> get yourself three chairs. And I'm going to position these. So I have a space behind me where I can sit but I have something on either side of me that when I go to stand, I have something for balance that I can count on, okay? The chairs are important. If at any time you're working standing and you start to, to wobble, use the chair for stability, okay? And that's what we wanna concentrate on. We're gonna be moving slower today, so it's gonna really work that balance. So we're gonna start with the shibachi set. This can be done both in the chair and standing. But I wanna start first with just a breathing exercise. Place your hands over your, this triangle is gonna go over my belly button. That's touching where your hands, your fingers come close. That's your tantian. It's three fingers breadth below your belly button and three fingers breath inside. That's the center of the energy. When we're breathing, we breathe in, we inflate the belly, we exhale, we squeeze the bottom muscles, the perineal muscles. So the inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. Let your belly expand, exhale. Contract those muscles on the bottom. This is breathing the way a baby breathes. If you watch the way a baby breathes, they breathe with their belly. It's the belly that moves. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna use, lower that diaphragm by pushing out that belly or letting that belly expand on its own. Lower the diaphragm, it gives you a little extra space for your air in your lungs allows that deep, deep breath to happen. So we're gonna take, and from here, we're just gonna simply raise hands. My feet are shoulder width apart, my knees are soft, my tailbone is lowered or tucked, feels like it has a little weight on it, just tucking down the end. My shoulders are back and down, and the top of my head is being pulled up by golden thread, okay? Hands are at my side, very soft, everything's relaxed. The first one is raise hands, and we're gonna slowly inhale, exhale. Concentrating on the breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, Exhale. Now we adjust the movement. This time we're going to bring the hands up. The inhale starts here as we open our arms wide, opening our heart. Exhale as we bring our hands back to center and lower them. If you can, if you can't, then it's exhale to here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. In, exhale. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale. We'll do one more. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Now, the next one is called painting rainbows. And the thought is that your fingers are brushes that paint a rainbow from one side of the room to the other. And the thought is you follow your hands with your eyes. Okay, so as we raise our hands all the way overhead, this is the inhale. We exhale down to one side, watching our fingers. The one hand comes to about the horizon of the room. Inhale up, exhale down on the other side. Inhale up, exhale down. Now we're going to bring our hands back to center and exhale as we bring them down. This next one is called scattering clouds. And we start with our hands nice and loose. We're going to raise them in front of our body, slightly crossed. Reach out, turn them over, and exhale down. Inhale up and out, exhale down. It's all about the breathing. From here. Our next is called Repulse Monkey. We raise one hand straight up in front, palm to the floor. The other hand comes straight out the side, palm to the ceiling. We flip them, meaning they both change the direction, and we take a breath and exhale the chi through the hands out in front. Drop that hand down. Bring it out the side, switch or turn the hands and exhale. Inhale, Oops, sorry. switch, exhale. Drop it, inhale, turn the hands. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. From here, both hands come down and they turn facing forward. We're going to take a breath. As we pick up the hands and bring them around to the front, this is called row the boat. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. From here, the next is called toss the ball. I like to turn my toes out just a tad as I do this one. The hand is going to sweep past the knee up into the corner on the opposite side. Turn the hand over and exhale as you bring it back down into center. 
Then we do the other hand. Inhale up, turn it over, exhale back to position. Inhale up, turn, exhale down. Inhale up, turn, exhale down. and we come back to center. From here, the next piece is called Carry the Moon. We take both hands from the front and turn the body from the hips towards the side. The hands come to the back corner. Inhaling, we come back to center, exhaling, and go to the other side, inhale. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Stay in the center now. From here, we are going to twist and push the hands. Our hands come up, they're open, they're relaxed, they're at our waist. We're going to push the hand out, turning it over, going to the opposite corner in front, turn it over and bring it back. Exhale as we go out to front, push to the corner, Inhale as we bring it back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more set. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. From here, the hands will come down. We're going to take one hand in front of our hip. The other hand comes up in front of the shoulder and turns out. So I have one hand pointed to the floor and the other hand pointed away from me. This is cloud hands. We're going to come over across from one hip and shoulder to the other little turn of the torso, change the hands, and come back across to the beginning position. Change the hands. Exhale as we come across. Change. Exhale as we come back. Change. Exhale, change, exhale. We're going to come back to center and let the hands come down. This next one is called scooping from the sea. This is something that if you have a balance issue, you can do it from the chair very easily. I always keep my back away from the back of the chair. I am going to take and position one foot out, just slightly. All I'm doing is taking and putting my heel where my toe was. Putting the heel and putting the foot down. We are going to scoop into the sea. Inhale, picking up the water. Coming overhead and exhale as we bring it back and scoop over the same side, pick it up, exhale as we bring it down. Now standing, 
I'm going to still take that foot out. I'm going to move about 70% of my weight into that front foot, 30% in the back, and I scoop and pick it up, and I'm going to rock back slightly and exhale down. So come forward to that 70%, lift, and exhale down. One more. Scoop, lift, exhale. From here, we're going to bring our foot back and change feet. Take the other foot forward. And we're going to scoop. We're going to do the same thing, but on the other side. Scoop, lift, circle back with an exhale. Inhale as we lift. Exhale, scoop, exhale, last one, scoop, inhale, exhale. We're going to bring the foot back, change feet one more time. This next one is called playing with waves. We're coming with the hands in front of the chest. My weight's on my right, my right, your left foot, if you're mirroring me. I'm going to push forward, pushing the wave out to sea. And then I'm going to inhale as I bring my weight back. Exhale as I rock forward. Inhale. Now, you never want to take more than 70% of your weight to that front foot. And you don't want to let the knee go past the toes if you're looking down at it. Pushing the waves, letting them push back. Push the wave. Inhale as it pushes you back. Push the wave and come back to center. We're going to change feet and do the same thing on the other side. I am going to come forward and back. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. One more. Exhale, inhale. The hands are going to come back and rest. I'm going to change feet one more time. This next one is called flapping your wings. The hands start open to the front. My foot is, my weight is on my back foot. I'm going to rock forward and put 70% into my front foot and cross my hands in front. Rock back, pick up the toe. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, step back, change the feet, going forward, flap your wings, inhale, Sorry, backwards. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Coming back to center. Bringing the foot in. Now notice that I never change my feet with weight in them. So if I'm stepping out, I'm dropping my weight into this leg and then taking my foot out. If I'm shifting, bringing that foot out, it's an empty foot. Bringing the foot back, it's empty. That will help with balance also. Okay. Punches. Soft fists. Tai Chi fists are soft. Hollow, like you're holding a baby bird. We just tuck the thumb in. From here, 
Okay, knees are soft, tailbone is tucked, shoulders are down, top of the head is up. We're gonna exhale and turn the hand over as it comes out forward to our center. Inhale as it comes back. Exhale, taking the other hand out. Bring it back with an inhale. Exhale. Bring it back. Exhale. 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 And we let those hands come down and relax. The next one is fly like a goose. Now there's a component to this that if you have a, a bad balance day, I absolutely do not want you to go up on your toes. The full expression, and from the chair, it is simply inhale, reach up, exhale, come back down. Standing, it is inhale, exhale, come back down, inhale, exhale. The full expression will come up on the toes at the top. Inhale and lower. Inhale and lower. Inhale, lower. Inhale, lower. Okay, back to center. Spinning wheel. This one, again, can be done in the chair. You're going to do exactly what I do, but from a seated position. The hands come in front. How low they go is up to you individually. Everything we do is control, you control you. I can't say what feels good, what doesn't. I don't know where your capabilities are. So everything is to stay within your comfort zone, okay? Don't ever reach too far, stay in what's comfortable. It's better to go to 70% of what you're capable of than to go too far and strain something. Okay, so this next one is, hands are in front and we lift them. We're doing spinning wheel. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. We do three. Inhale up, exhale down. We stop when we get to the bottom, go back the other way. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, <coughs> last one, inhale up, exhale down. Now I'm going just to come, come to where it's comfortable, to the lowest point that's comfortable for you. And come up. You always bend your knees and inhale as you're coming up, okay? Good. Next, bounce the ball. It's a little bit of a coordination issue. The easy way is touch the hand to the knee and set it back down. Touch the hand to the knee and set it back down. The full expression is I'm going to come up on my toe, bounce the ball with the same side, bring the knee up on the opposite side. Just touch your hand to your opposite knee, and you can do it from the chair. All right, from here. This is called balancing and storing chi. The thought is we're going to get into our Wu Ji stance, which is the soft knees, the tucked tailbone the shoulders back and down, the top of the head up. We're gonna bring our hands up. With an inhale, expanding our belly, we're gonna bring them down. Thinking about taking that chi down to our tantian. We're gonna inhale up. We're gonna exhale down. We're going to inhale up and exhale down. Now just breathe deeply. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale. All right, right hand is a fist, left hand is open, put the thumb in the hole, and this is our salute. Good morning. And that's how we're going to open this morning. That is called Shibachi Set One. Okay, and it's all about, it's a lot of movement, but it's all about the breathing. So how did that feel? I liked it. Did you like it? Yeah. Okay. Ladies? I got, I got, so then I felt, I felt a little bit, um, also the thing in terms of the breathing. You're saying like, inhale, I was exhaling, and you're saying, exhale, I was inhaling. You know, it's okay. You'll get it. The thing that happens with Tai Chi is we tend to exhale as we push forward. Because we want that energy coming up and then out our hands. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, it's, this is pushing out is exhaling and coming down. Generally speaking, anything pushing out or pushing down is an exhale. Anything pulling in or lifting up is an inhale. That's just kind of a generalization, okay? All right, so the next group of things we're gonna do is <clears throat> based on Dr. Lamb's, but we're gonna take them slow and we're gonna adjust some of them the first thing we want to work on is we want to work the neck. And so we get into our Wuji stance. Tuck that tailbone, drop the shoulders, top of the head is up. And we are going to put our hands here for right now. I'm gonna start with just a neck turn. So I want you to inhale and look to the left and exhale back to center. Inhale, look to the right, and back to center. Inhale, look left, and back to center. Inhale, look right, and back to center. Drop the hands. We're going to raise the hands and turn them over so they face you. And as they come in, which is gonna be an exhale, you're gonna tuck the chin back just an inch. Exhale it out. Now take the hands and let them go and watch the hands with your eyes as they go down, stretching the back of the neck. So again, we're gonna inhale the hands up. Turn them so they face you. Exhale as the chin comes in. Inhale as you push the hands back out. Exhale as you drop them down and look to the floor. We'll do one more. Bring the hands up. Turn them over. Tuck the chin. 